great motor racing action on a small budget. It does exist, the chance to get into active motorsport at an affordable price. A new Cup Series gives everyone with the relevant license a complete racing car for under 18,000 euros. It's built by motorsport experts in northern Germany who know their customers extremely well. They're very often families that you see when you're there who come along with the camper. Mum cooks, dad tinkers and the sons drive or it's groups of friends who've got together and who share the car. At least two or three of them then drive during this four-hour race. It's a very friendly crowd who already know each other from the Dasher Logan Cup. We follow this series from the start. A Chevrolet crew set to become a genuine racing car. Young series, young team. Alex and his crew get to work. Everything is so wonderfully new and yet can't be used. Weight's got to be saved so the car gets plundered. Even the dashboard panels get completely taken out. But first, it's up with car and a decision amongst the race mechanics. Two will take care of the interior. Team leader Alex sets two on the chassis. One benefit with a new car, the parts are not rusted fast and can be loosened with ease. The cars had one set up already. Yes, the major benefit lies simply in the fact that the setup that we've devised simply gets better in this car on the racetrack. It's a lot more taut and the whole setup is tailored much better to the car and of course to the track too. The setup is initially developed on a prototype and then fine-tuned. To do this, the car gets thoroughly shaken up over and again. Chassis adjustment without being on the track. That's done on the simulator. It lets me monitor effects such as friction and ultimately using suspension springs and shock absorber strengths, i.e. degrees of push and pull. I adjust the absorbers in such a way that I achieve the optimum setting. When the optimum has been worked out, the shock absorbers are shipped from the factory in cruise setting. Now they're fitted along with the springs. Finally, the right torque so that everything stays correctly in place. During a race, the brakes are put under incomparably greater strain than in normal road use. The motorsport experts have come up with a special form of brake ventilation for the crews. A hole gets cut in an existing protective panel. Then a tube is welded on to which the ventilation hose is later attached. Simple and effective. Yes, in racing use, the brakes are put under a very heavy strain and therefore we've built in a brake ventilation system so that the brake discs get cooled more efficiently. The air inlet is at the front on the bumper. In racing mode, the cool air is fed through a flexible hose straight to the brake disc. A race exhaust system is fitted beneath it, six parts that give more power. The extra power is largely produced by the fact that there's naturally less exhaust counter pressure and the engine also pulls as much as possible from the bottom, getting much more torque from below. The sparks fly and it's off with the standard unit. The sport system's pipes are bigger in diameter. Compared to the original, the muffler now discharges the exhaust fumes through two tailpipes, low counter pressure, clear tubes and more power. Last of all, the race tires go onto the car. Down below, everything's now done and the car can come down. That's the outside. Next time we'll show you what goes into the car so that the racing crews can be released into the motorsport arena.